Hey, how's it going gamers? And it's Mao and welcome to Words Mobile. So I'm gonna try to do a beginner's guide. I'm gonna try to help you guys with buildings, what to build, what not to build, and try to save you from mistakes that I made before. So you guys gonna start, you guys can see I already unlocked everything pretty much. And already getting them on a higher level as I can. So we're gonna start with a castle. Castle is most important building because it the higher castle the more attacks you can send the more army in each attack you can send out so and then the castle limits your other buildings level so if the castle is level 20 you can only build other buildings to level 20 so very important to get your castle up then we're gonna go over here and we got vault so vault protects your storage so the higher is the higher resource you protect when somebody attacks you then we got barracks I only have one barracks some other people will go with two three and four barracks I think you only need one because you can only train one at a time but more barracks give you more troops to train at a time which pretty much if you're not active for a lot of time and hold on you know what let's go back over here in the barrack and let's go on a tier 3 troops and let's see how many I can build at once so I can build 2000 troops 2080 troops so we have two barracks at level 22 I can build them 4000 troops and it's gonna take 20 hours so yeah if you're not active for like a pretty much the whole day and you you probably yeah you want to build the whole day so you probably gonna want two barracks that way it's gonna take you 20 hours to build but if you're active pretty much the whole day then you don't have to so then we have a watchtower the higher it is you the, the text enemy approaching your camp pretty much the higher it is the more troops you have, everything details you can see now let's go over here on this side and we have uh, let's start with hospitals infirmary so infirmary are really important guys because they heal your troops so if the higher is the more troops you can heal so it only works in a castle so if your troops are in a castle and somebody attacks you you can pretty much heal all your troops or well, whatever it is so I have six I think let's see one two three four five six yeah I have six of them and I can heal 112,000 troops. So if I have more troops, the rest of the troops are gonna die and I'll never get them back, so I have to train them again. But these troops are just gonna have to, they're gonna be wounded and I use some resources and I can heal them. So now we got manor. So manor are really important because they produce gold and what can I write? It increases your training speed training for your troops so higher is you got more training speed so that's very important because you want to train a lot of troops so that's why I do recommend go all manners and pretty much hospitals like you can see right here I have a bunch of manners so I can increase my training speed because when we get I'm on tier 3 so when I'll get to tier 4 it's gonna take a super long time to train troops so then we're gonna come over here we have resources and you guys can see I only have one farm one farm that's all you guys need one farm because you can see my food is negative we don't have to feed troops they're not gonna starve don't worry they're not gonna starve so one farm and then you want everything else uh, lumber pretty much stone and ore that's what you need because the higher you're gonna get the more your your city is gonna produce more resources so you have to farm less and don't worry about the what's it called crop because this game gives you so much food it's not even funny in bags so whatever you want to build something right here look how much food I have I have like, I have like probably over a hundred million food in bags so yeah you're never gonna need food at least for now and like you see right here, uh, I have all stone, 
wood and ore stone and wood is most important so I have already producing over a hundred thousand in stone and, and wood for now but I'm working to get it actually higher I want to be able to be like a, over 200 that way I'll be farming less and it'll be my city is going to produce enough for me to actually build and stuff so yeah very important one farm before I had a bunch of farms and I had to delete them all and actually build a bunch of lumber because to upgrade your buildings takes so much lumber and it's not even funny so let's go over here on this side so now we have academy very very important you always want to research everything you can do doesn't matter what it is you want to research it because the more researches you do the stronger you get then we have workshop it pretty much your accessory and your relics it too much to explain everything so I'm gonna do a separate video for this probably stay tuned and I'll explain how they work then we have a training post this is pretty much you send supplies for your uh, guildmates you just pick whatever guildmate it is and you send them and then you have a prison prison is when you actually attack somebody level castle 10 and high you can capture their leaders and then you can probably put a bounty or a ransom and they have to pay you gold to get the heroes back so it's pretty cool so right now I have no prisoners I actually released them earlier so and then we have over here on this side very cool very cool it's a treasure trove what it is you pretty much deposit your gems I do recommend deposit for 30 days that's when you get the maximum return so I deposit 10,000 and I'm gonna get almost 20,000 so that's pretty cool how this game actually gives you the option to invest your gems and get back so each 30 days you're gonna get probably like extra 10,000 gems pretty cool so now what else I want to cover it uh, let's see over here so uh, all right oh okay skill points or what they call talents all right a lot of people always question what to do and where to put them so for beginners choose the right side put two on a food production then two on a stone production and then go for a construction speed right there construction speed one very important because you're gonna build a lot and then you're gonna have to go down and do research one so it's gonna give you 40 40% extra construction speed yeah that's gonna help a lot the research speed and that's gonna give you I think 40% yeah 40% too so after that keep going down to on stone production then two on everything else why two because it takes two points in the beginning to unlock the next stage and then when you get down and the food production two is gonna take five points to unlock so the yeah you gotta go construction speed two all the way down here and then research two yes very important and then you can go for gathering gathering is how much you're gonna gather more resource in the mines outside of your city so you actually do want to go for that because you can gather faster so you don't have to spend a lot of time and people can actually attack you there and kill all your troops and you can't even heal them so after you finish all that I do recommend go on the left side just for three points and then go for training speed one that way you can train your troops faster so that's it guys that's all you wanna focus in the beginning and after that when you actually reach this higher level and then you actually wanna fight other people so you can reset your tr reset it and go for more like training speed 2 or like all the defenses and bonuses for your troops so what else that I didn't cover so that's that was that and oh yeah join try to join active guild the more active your guild look you get bonuses for everybody if they buy gems or they call they be the bosses on the map so you get everybody gets a bonus so somebody beats it or buy gems everybody gets bonuses see you just got a bunch of stuff so that's pretty cool and they actually they also help you 
they help you research and they help you build so you help them press help all and then they help you back and then you get guild points and you can buy a bunch of stuff with guild points so let's see my troops came back with 400,000 oh that's pretty cool and oh so event rank 17 I didn't even try you know what let me go and cover this event so here we go we have soy event that goes for every three hours and on the left side you can see research so anything you research you get points and there are points there's three stages so you get rewards for finishing it so you don't have to do every single one but when you actually try to finish it and you go for a higher rank try to push it that way you actually get all the, re all the rewards very important and then right here it goes extra ranking rewards so when you finish finish in the top 100 players you get more rewards like right now I finished it I didn't even know and actually got rewards so that was pretty cool so yeah it goes for top 100 players and then we get hell event hell event is every hour every hour is different event so right now it's for research same thing they are usually different they either go for training troops research or buildings but the hell event gives you a lot of stuff and then when you actually try to finish hell event try to push in more points not just what it requires because the highest points person on the server gets extra rewards there's top three top so extra I mean top 100 players so when you get rank one that's a lot of, a lot of stuff a lot of free stuff so that's very cool eh? how they did this when you get extra rewards for actually so yeah when you try to do it try to push it push all you all you have to get that number one rank it's definitely not worth it so what else let's go over here brave hearts so this is like a dungeons pretty much you can call them you can click right there it shows you how many brave hearts you got how many when it's gonna be full so don't let it be full come in try to attack when you have no time just go back and sweep there is an option to sweep actually early as dungeon and what you get you get material for your heroes and you can get cards for your heroes so we're gonna need a ton of them you know what let's go here I'll show you guys so when you go back you can actually go ahead and uh, right here on the left on the right side it says sweep either one time or ten times and you get material and for regular regular ones you don't get any hero cards but when you go on the elite ones you get hero cards so you can level up your heroes or pretty much evolve or I'm not sure how it calls and when you need it shows you where to farm so yeah this is what I need for my next one so that's that and I think I pretty much covered everything for you guys for beginning for you guys to know and I hope I didn't miss anything I think uh, let's see yeah I think I got everything so uh, th thanks for watching guys and comment below what you guys think how you guys like this game and subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet see ya bye